Welcome to Rise Up Namobia. So in this video, we are going to be looking at logarithms involving the quotient law by Medianata aka the resistor of bad and the lover of good. Hashtag dark and lovely underscore walk by faith and not by sight. So, the quotient law. What do you do when you have log base m of a minus now you want to subtract something from that log so for example you want to subtract log base m of b what will your answer be now your answer will be this how did we get this answer first of all your logs check do they have the same base yes they have the same base now that same base is what we will have in our answer that's why we also have log base m in our answer okay now once your bases are the same you check whatever number is at a and you divide it with whatever number is at b that's why in our answer we have a over b okay now you've probably heard that logarithms are the reverse operation of indices or exponents now remember from the exponents we had this division law whereby if your bases are the same, you do what to the exponents? You subtract the exponents. Okay? Now, if you take a close look, these two laws are actually related, but it's just like reversed. What do I mean by this? Check. In our quotient law, it's like the subtraction comes first. Hmm? As long as the bases are the same, and then you divide. But in our division law, the division comes first, and then you subtract the exponents. But don't worry with uh, how they are related. Let's rather look into some examples of how to use the quotient law. Okay? So say for example, you have log base 2 of 4. And then you subtract log base 2 of 2. Now first of all, you want to check if your bases are the same. Now, from checking here, we can see that our bases are the same. It's both log base 2, right? So, what will our answer be? So, our answer will also involve a log base 2. Okay? Now, you check whatever number is at A, which is 4, and you divide it by whatever number is at B, which is 2. So, we divide 4 divided by 2. What answer will you get? You will keep your log base 2, and then 4 divided by 2 is what? It's 2. Alright? So your answer is log base 2 of 2. And that's your final answer. Okay? Now, how about when you have log? And there is no base written, but you have log x minus log, no base written again, and then y. What will your answer be? Again, the same concept applies. And one thing I should point out is, once you see that there is no base written, this simply means that the base is 10. Okay? Each time you see that there is no base written, because these type of logarithms are called common logarithms. Okay? So each time you see that there is no base, it's a common logarithm, which means the base is 10. Now, you can choose to write 10 there, or even if you don't write 10, your marker will know what you mean. Okay? They will know that the base is 10. So because our base here is 10, or we didn't write anything, in our answer part, we can also just write it as log without a base, okay? And then we divide whatever is at, like, A, which is X, and whatever is at B, which is this Y. So if we divide X by Y, we get this answer, okay? And that's our final answer. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Please do like, subscribe, turn on the notification button to be the first to see the next upload, share with friends, family, and classmates. And remember, together, we rise to higher heights, apart, we all stay behind. Cheers.